one of the main themes of Thanksgiving is abundance and being thankful. Okay. Now, when we have uh, words like giving gratitude, sometimes this has been overused. It can even imply groveling and having people be like, you know, I'm grateful for this and I'm grateful for that. And sometimes they're just saying it. It's not really felt. Not everyone's going to feel the same thing or the same way all the time over everything. And yet gratitude can be used as a way to regain our dignity and find ourselves again and feel some of our heart energy. The abundance that we show publicly um, here of, you know, abundant food, families, you know, happy, shiny people, this isn't always the reality for people. Some people feel obliged. They feel obligated to show or bring something or make a show of it. Um, there's frequently separations between the females in the family and the males while the males like focus on one thing and maybe an expectation that's a little outdated to be served and the females are doing the cooking and the serving and everything. A lot of people are breaking down these stereotypes and um, making it a bit more uh, balanced, you know, between the masculine and the feminine energies. For many people, it is a day off. It's a day, it is a respite from the grind. It breaks up the week. Some people can build it into a three or four day weekend. And, you know, really have a little stretch of time where they get away from the grind. Some people completely get away. They'll make a trip of it. Uh, some people travel to see family. There's sometimes a mad scramble with the traveling, which does stress people. Um, some people utilize this time of year to uh, express their gratitude by helping out at a charity. You know, it could be a soup kitchen. It could be a function where people are being fed. Um, it could be just donating things. It's traditionally a time of year where as we get into the, towards the end of the year, a lot of companies start getting into what is called the black. In other words, they may start the year in a deficit, which is the red, and then they get into the black. So we also have Black Friday. Black Friday is many times what used to be the thing that brought companies up into the black through sales. So there's a lot of frenetic activity surrounding this particular holiday. And yet I do encourage everyone, please focus yourself, please make yourself feel something of a thanks, something that you could just feel touched you or shifted you, you know, shifted your mind out of some stress or thoughts or beliefs, something where you're away from the collective and you're just focusing on you and what you need, where you like to go. Now, the giving thanks, the expressing and the receiving, this is twofold. What are we expressing some things for? What do we expect to receive? What are we hopeful for? So a lot of the themes with this holiday are thanks, gratitude. Thanks should be thanking people too, because in an ideal world, we all should say thank you to each other. Someone holds the door for you, you say thank you. They let you in in traffic, you say thank you. They um, give you something or they discount something, you say thank you. We have many times forgotten how to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I thank you, and I love you again. We have to get back to some of this. This is from an ancient tradition. This is very much, uh, well, it's Hawaiian also. They call it Ho'oponopono. And yet it's helpful when everyone knows how do we properly say, I'm sorry for that, or thank you. 
what are we grateful for from the universe, the world, our environment, our neighbors, our city, our neighborhood, our province, you know, wherever it is, our point of origin, our ancestors. It could be something really big or something really small. Are we grateful for something in nature? Are we grateful for privileges we have that others don't have? And we don't mean to feel ashamed, but we should feel some gratitude for those things because others worked really hard to put that in place. And maybe everyone should have similar privileges. Abundance. What does abundance mean to you? And another one is peace having a peaceful day with those we care about, having a respite from the world, having a change in our routine, having some place to go or somewhere to be or someone who's serving us or someone we're serving and, you know, sharing. That's another theme of this, sharing. What are we sharing? What are we able to share? What would we like to share? And family, family is frequently a theme. Well, what runs in your family? And what's going to happen? Do things repeat? Do you see your abusers on that day? Do you see people that love you? Do you see the drinkers and druggers in your family? Do you see the people who don't or have gotten sober and they're starting to atone for their behaviors and how they've been. Do you see the people who can't cook? And do you see the people who are really fabulous cooks and you tell them you should have a restaurant? Do you see the children? What do you want for those children? How would the children perceive this? What did you perceive as a child? Do you see some of the older children now? Have you traveled? Were you able to travel? Are you grateful for that travel? Do you give gratitude to those people who are working when everyone else is having a holiday? Okay. And maybe that gets flipped sometimes. You're working when they're off. Okay. Or do you see someone every single day and you would just like to give them a little thing to show gratitude? Maybe you never tip and that is the day that you're saying, you know what, I'm going to say thank you for some good service with what I can manage. Are you catching yourself? Because this is also a day where we should do a little self-reflection and we're catching ourselves. How do we feel? Are we stressed about it? Are we worried? Are we overthinking the one dish we need to bring? Are we piling too much on our plate? Are we letting other people trample all over us or have expectations? Are you able to speak up for yourself and not be a people pleaser? Did you get your name on the list of what to bring and you've got to bring the expense of alcohol, but someone else brings paper cups and you're saying, how is that fair? How is that equal? Well, I'll just have to do it. I'm going to work an hour overtime to make up the expense. Or are you finding your voice and able to speak up in a nice, kind, considerate way, in a way that can be received? All of these things that happen on our holidays can get us away from our core essence, who we are, who we want to be. And yet we have the ability to kind of bring it back, refocus ourselves, focus on what matters, focus on what you value in your life. What are you valuing in your life? Genuine friendships, real good family relationships, genuine good conversations, genuine nice time and laughter with each other, genuine affection, genuine feeling and sentiment that, hey, we had a really nice time. We're glad we went. We'd like to host that next time. Or 
I'm glad I changed up the routine and instead of doing all the same old thing, I did something completely different. And I honored myself for once. I've been wanting to do that for years. So you make this what you can. Give some gratitude for something small. It could be infinitesimally small and something that's big and grand. So I wish you a happy Thanksgiving and I hope that it's a good one. Be new, make it good, cut people slack and do your part. And don't go off on people. Let people understand that other people are stressed and they may not be where you're at and it's okay. Give them a wide berth and enjoy yourself.